So one could truly say that Alabama has not defeated Tennessee in Tuscaloosa since 1930. One could say that, and it would be true. Tennessee won the toss. They've deferred the option to the second half. Bama gets the ball to begin. Ray Hudson will take a knee. It'll come out to the 20. And let's check in with Jill Arrington. And here is Bo Freeland on to punt. Little pressure. Freeland has uh, been superb in the last couple of games. Mark Jones, though, that's a line drive. And Mark Jones skips out of the tackle and counter punches all the way to the 49 yard line. Last week, they couldn't get off the field on third down. Ole Miss converted 9 of 16 against them on third down as you see Tennessee's numbers on their first third down play. And conversely last week Tennessee was one of 11 and they immediately convert their first third down opportunity in this game. First down and 10 inside the 40 at the 38 play fake Clawson rolling right being chased by Anderson fires it out it's caught at the 30 yard line that's a gain of eight. I mean how often do you move a guy from quarterback and then he becomes your leading receiver but that's the case for Tennessee. Second down and three. Off tackle. Bubble. Cedric Houston. Loose ball. Scramble. Who got it? Alabama got it. They almost lost it because they tried to pick it up and score with it. Allen leads that group with two interceptions this year. There's a draw play. And Sean Williams across the 30 out to the 31 yard line. Third down. Let's look coming from the outside on Brody. Boyle delivers. Got a man. Triando Sloop first down at the 40 yard line. Now Boyle. It's Donald Clark, his tight end. Play fake by Brody Coyle. Dances to the right, being chased. Finds a man. Caught out of bounds. Out of bounds. And a holding penalty against Alabama. Missed all of the open week in practice, and so he's back on the field now. That brings on Bull Freeland for the second time. Nice and high. And Jones comes up, signals for a fair catch. That was his own man that hit him. That could be Alabama's ball. His own man ran into Mark Jones. It was not an Alabama player, and so that becomes a live football, and Alabama has it. Look at that score. 16 to 13, Georgia UAB. Up the middle she goes, Sean Williams, number 21. That'll leave third and a couple. Play fake, Coyle comes out into the flat. Caught by Castile, he's got a first down at the 12. And he is going to be ruled down, he thought. <laughs> his knee had not touched. And so did Mike Shula. Once again, okay. Coyle, they got him nailed at the 16-yard line by J.T. Mapu, the sophomore from Kahuka, Hawaii. That's going to bring on Brian Bostic, who has missed only four this season. This one from 33 yards away. Gabe Jardina will hold it. Snap. Down. The kick is up. And it is good. So they do get three out of their second fumble recovery of the ball game. Here's Clawson inside pattern to Mark Jones out to the 30 and apparently enough to move the chain. My, my, my. Here's a reverse around the right side. It's Derek Tinsley, number 20. This is his first carry of the season. First time he's gotten on the stat sheet as either a wide out or a running back. Blitz coming from Alabama. Clawson, that's up in the air, and that, that is would a be a loose ball. ball. That is a fumble. We saw no signal by the official that it was a forward pass, and a third turnover now for Alabama. Second and six, Castile and Shaw Williams in the backfield. Here comes a blitz, and Williams beats it to the 39-yard line. First down, Alabama. When you have turnovers. You have to be able to convert it into points, and they've only got three to show for it. So the punt is forthcoming, both Freeland. Three fumble recoveries, nice three punt. turnovers. It was a nice punt. Good looking dog. You know, I knew you did the F flag duck. <laughs> I didn't know you had the hound in you. Out to the 15 yard line. Bowling Green, alma mater of. My dad, Ron Blackledge, watching that game, I'm sure. 
back and forth between ours. And That's theirs. right. Absolutely. Out of the backfield, first down, down the sidelines. This one caught by C.J. Phaeton, number 17. Colquitt leads the SEC. He's fifth in the country in uh, punt average. And this one high and deep. And Sean Williams does not call the fair catch. And returns it to the 28-yard line. There is John Croyle, Brody's dad, and a great player here in the mid-70s. And the punt by Bo Freeland. Mark Jones awaits it, has it at the 23-yard line. A lot of room. Slips and is down as he gets to the 38. Avalos with one start. That was a win at home two weeks ago here against Southern Miss. Here's Clawson, left side, on a rope. And caught, and a missed tackle. That's cut by James Banks, number 11. Might be oh my. perfect. Oh, and it's a yard it short of perfect. Yep. Let's look again. They are coming. There's Dre Fulgen with a little slant pattern. And that's going to move the chain first down. That's the longest pass of the game for Alabama. It gives them a first down at the 31. Williams gets a block. Right side. Spins out across the 40 to the 42-yard line. A gain of 11. Now they load up on the left side on first down and 10. That's Castile. Coyle gives it off. Cuts and bounces to the outside. Got some speed and got some room. Goes for the stiff arm. He draws air with that, but he's got a first down after a 28-yard gallop. Draw play. What a nifty move. Georgia hangs on to win by three, 16 to 13. Out of the backfield, Castile. LaRon McLean is the fullback. Shaw Williams the tailback. It will be Williams left side. First and goal. Crimson Tide. Third and goal. Coyle, quick setup. Up in the air. Contact. Flag. Late. They went against the freshman, Antoine Stewart. Wide receivers left and right. The tight end sets up tight to the left. That's Cabin. Play fake. Coil back in trouble. Yes, it certainly was. Busted play. That brings on Brian Bostick, a 27-yard field goal attempt. He is one for one. And a cobbled hold. The holder, Jardina, fumbled the snap. What a turnaround for Tennessee. Jason Allen was up there now. I mean, he was up in the air. The snap from Nick Ridings appeared okay. And uh, on first down from the 20, here's Cedric Houston. Moments ago, they were in, they were lined up in their own end zone, trying to play defense. Alabama had the ball for 7-14. Man, wide open, it's Banks. James Banks. Jones makes the tackle at the 14-yard line. James Wilhite, 5 for 10 for the year, up, nailed it from 31 yards away. Great point, Joe. I mean, uh, they missed the handoff exchange with Shad Williams on the third down play. Remember, Brody scrambled and got hit trying to score. Here's Williams. He got a great block from Tyrone Procro. Holy cow. Remember, Jason Allen blocked the last one, coming right from the middle, jumping up, right in there, number 18. Good snap, good hole, kick on the way. Got it! They'll probably go in and tighten those things up the best they can for the second half. There's Boston on first down, screen pass left side. Cedric Houston, out to the 40-yard line. Penalty flag at the end of the play. Yes, there is. Teams are running off. Well, Alabama's running off because they don't see the penalty flag. After the play was over, we have a dead ball, personal foul here. The penalty will be enforced at the beginning of the second half. Kyle Robinson will kick off from his own 20-yard line. 
Larkins and Tinsley are the deep men. And this is Corey Larkins across the 30, 40, and Tennessee will start with a very good field position now. And they've got a first down at their own 41 yard line. Backs in the eye. Casey Clawson hands it off. Big room around the left side. And that is Houston. This is Tennessee football. This is their identity that they've had a hard time, uh, you know, just keeping throughout this season. Running play again. Big hole. And it's Houston inside the 35, down to the 33-yard line tackle by Charles Jones, a gain of 12. So that makes teams able to really zone in on stopping the Tennessee run. Here's the handoff. Houston going right. Well, those wide receivers last year and the year before, Kelly Washington, Dante Stallworth. Yeah. Banks in a quarterback, and Banks on the round. Run! James Banks scores! <laughs> they were up 3-0, tied 3-3, led at the half 6-3. High snap, Correll controls it. Goes deep across the middle, intercepted. Picked off by Tennessee. Corey Campbell, number 26. Coyle tried to find his old high school teammate, Brandon Greer. It was too high. Third and six. Basic big play out of the backfield and well developed for Tennessee. First down plus. That is C.J. Faton with his second catch of the game. James Wilhite started the season one of four, has hit five of his last six. The first one in this game from short range, 31 yards. This one from 38, and it appears perfect. It is. A couple of blows on that separated left shoulder. We'll hand this one off. Sean Williams dances left. It's Ray Hudson. It's 27 instead of 21, and Hudson out to the 45-yard line. What do you mean, Byrne? Uh, he was my <laughs> nemesis. Here's Croyle being chased. Get out of bounds. Yes, indeed. Second down and nine. 13 to six. Here's Croyle with a play fake. Tyrone Crotro looks for blocking help. Gets it. Breaks a tackle on his own. And fights inside the 45. Third and three. Here's Croyle with time. Got a man. It's Fulgham. Gray Fulgham at the 33-yard line. First and 10, Alabama. First down from the 40, the 35-yard line. Play fake, Croyle, looking deep, launches it deep. Goes for Triandos, loop, touchdown! There it is. They haven't had a downfield pass all game, and they got one when they needed it. But the team's not involved in the tie, and the other team's in the other division. Reverse, left side. Jan and Mark Jones. And Jones flies down the left sideline, out of bounds with a huge gain out to the 48-yard line. Leading punter in the SEC. Hangs this one up. Shaw Williams at the 10. Can't shake the second man down. I mean, he probably definitely prevented B.J. Simmons from winning the Heisman Trophy at Texas Tech, and he got on the radar map. Maybe not this year, but next year. 291 yards rushing. Out of the flat, Shaw Williams. Last season, Williams held in check. Today, had a big 48-yard run. Here's a big third down pass. That is Brody Coyle to Dre Fulgham. These last 14 minutes and 30 seconds, which team wants it most physically? The punt from Bo Freeland. James Banks is back. And Banks nailed as he gets to the 28-yard line. And Colquitt is on the punt. Oh, baby. What a kick. Yes, it was. Right Sean to the Williams. Can't even catch it. Wow. Out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Look at that putt. Don Shula's foursome won the tournament, and the event raised $150,000 to a great cause. All right, thank you, Joe. This one's sky high. Tyler Murphy. Wow, are you kidding? I mean, when it left his hand, <laughs> I thought he was throwing it away. First down and 10. Seven of eight in this half for Brody Coyle. Back to throw again. 
carries it out, caught by Castillo, across the 50 to the 48-yard line. That was a game of 13, first down. Here comes Williams. Out of bounds, near the 30. And a face mask, mask at the yes. end, you're right. What a play. Play, oh my goodness. Looks like they almost missed the handoff. They almost did. And it off again. Keep it on the ground. Little skip to the five-yard line. Sean Williams. You know, think about what this young man has been through. Started out from Andrews, Texas, at Texas Tech. Mike Shula is going to roll the dice and go for it on fourth and one. Give it to your best player, 21. Here's 21, and he did not get in. Paris Harrelson led the charge. They need a big effort from him now. And the key is to get it off quick. Your, your distance is cut down, get the kick off. Williams. What a kick. Isn't that something? He was close to stepping out of bounds, but did not, and then he is hammered. Third and 12 for Brody Croyle. Here's Croyle back, steps up, has to scramble, pulls up, and he's got a man. Oh my gosh. Wide open. Zach Fletcher. Fletcher breaks through, and there's Prothrow with a block, and it's first a goal. How do you do? Spencer Pennington out to congratulate him. It's second down. Hudson, touchdown, Crimson Tide. Punts away to Sean Williams, who waits it, awaits it at the 25. Another dandy. <laughs> My and, and right to the gosh. Side line. I mean, he can't even do anything with it. But uh, Dustin Colquitt having a wonderful season. Draw play. Hudson. A lot of room. Flag. Now this is going to come back. This is going to be a hold on Dre Fulgham. And that allows, oh no, too many men in the field. Snap the ball if you're Alabama. They didn't snap it in time. They could have had 12 men on the field for Tennessee. But they still forced a fair catch because they were late getting their return guys on. Tennessee did not have time to set up a return. On first and 10 from the 14, Clawson. Looking left, that goes across the middle. Caught. At the 28-yard line, the catch is made by James Banks. On first down, Clawson back, three-man rush. They drop eight across the middle, caught. That's going to be a five-yard pickup out near the 35-yard line. They have to score a touchdown. So Alabama wants to make them just chip away all the way down the field. Here is a blitz, D'Amico Lyons. They go left. Now the receiver down the sidelines. No, he was out of bounds back at the... 46 and a half yard line. Crossing deep left side. Got a man at the 30. Wow. Troy Fleming. Three wide receiver set. Crossing under center. Flips it out left side. At the 20. At the 10. At the 5. Down at the 1. The clock will stop on the first down. <laughs> Nobody wanted to tackle him. It was an attempted handoff to Jabari Davis, but Troy Fleming got in the way. Fumble, returned for a touchdown, Georgia. First and goal, and this time they play fake it, love it for touchdown, Troy Fleming. Nice call. They line up with their big backfield. Boston six of eight on that drive, which went 76 yards, no timeouts. Here's Tyrone Protero, number four. He's got some room. The kicker to beat. What a play by the kicker. Just slowing him down. A flag is down. There are two of them. Will Height saved the touchdown. It might be coming back anyway. Personal foul. Oh, my oh gosh. Man. Unbelievable. 15 yard penalty from the end of the run. First down. And here is Bostic for an Alabama win. It 
Didn't get down clean, and it got tipped again. <laughs> well, they scored on the Hail Mary against Florida. Not even going to try it here. Nope. Let's go to overtime. Well, this one has had some drama. And the Volunteers of Tennessee get the first offensive series in overtime in Bryant-Denny Stadium in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Hand it off. Bounce to the outside, and this is Cedric Houston with a nice run. He picks up three yards, eight yards rather, David Scott with the tackle. James Banks is split left, backs in the eye. Handoff. Up the middle. Nice run to the eight-yard line by Jabari Davis. Jones and Tinsley near side. Here's Clawson to throw. Drills it. Caught. Touchdown, Tennessee. Derek Tinsley. Tyrone Prothrow is the wideout. And here's the pass to Prothrow, to the five, back to the ten, and dropped at the eight. Williams and Castile in the backfield. On fourth down, blitz coming. Coyle got full jump. Got a touchdown. What a pretty throw. They tried it on second down, and Brody threw it too far. Don't know that I want to see him again. Second and 12. Boyle in the end zone for Luke. Luke waits. Can't get it. Flag down. Oh, my goodness. That's Triandos Luke who starts in motion. Hand off up the middle. Into the end zone. Touchdown. Tim Castile. Crossed him up, didn't it? Here's Tennessee to try and match. Clawson back, pumps once, nailed. Naughton, McKay, Lozier. And they were setting up a play for a touchdown, and they had it. Rush three for Alabama. Clawson, deep down the middle, got a man open at the 10. Unbelievable. Are you kidding? Clawson out of the spread, loads it up left side. Looks left. Nothing there. Avoids the tackle this time. In the end zone. Points. Touchdown. James Banks on the deflected pass. A flag is down. Back at the 18-yard line. Well, right about where Casey Clawson is down. How about both teams making huge conversions on fourth down? Alabama, a fourth and three touchdown pass. Casey Clawson, fourth and 19 conversion. And we're back at the other end. Clawson on first down, deep left side. Man open. Caught. Touchdown. Again. Now they have to go for two. Banks is to the left side. That is Mark Jones, who starts in motion. And here's Casey Clawson rolling out, firing it incomplete. <laughs> J.B. Klausner back in at center. Here's Coyle back. Steps up, lobs it out. Caught by Hudson. Shakes a tackle. At the 15, down at the 12. First down. In the third overtime at Brian Denny in Tuscaloosa. Williams goes left. Williams oh, scores. <laughs> this is unreal. Now the safety's out. They don't have single this time. Here's Coyle. Drills it. Intercepted. That could be returned. And it is, but only to the 13-yard line. Let's go to a fourth overtime. Let's. Lead block. Hudson comes right. Gets a block from his tight end. He's picked up a first down. Nifty bit of running by Ray Hudson and a nice block by David Cabin. I love this rule for overtime in college football. And off. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and a penalty. Yes. And it was a heck of a play. I think that was Kevin Burnett. Or no, Simon. Kevin Simon. That was a personal oh. foul. Just for the face mask against the defense. The penalty would be half the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. The snap, the hold, the kick is up. Good. That may have been his best one of the day. I mean, good snap, good hold, solid kick. Now it's up to the defense. Davis is the deep back in the eye. Two wide outs to the left. 
Dawson with a play fake. Looks right. Nobody open. Rolls right. And scoots out of bounds. That might be a flag. Yeah, and it was. And just so dumb by Antoine Odom. Just, just so dumb. Welcome to number five. The 25 yard field. Hit a big play on first down. Dawson hands it off instead, but he bounces to the outside. And this is. Corey Larkins. Corey Larkins, who uh, is on to spell Jabari Davis. Lawson looks out to his right on first down. He'll hand it off again. Nice block left side. Larkins to the five and perhaps the four yard line. The two quarterbacks in this game, Casey Clawson, Brody Coyle, both expressing at the beginning of the afternoon how much this game meant, how bitter this rivalry is. Nice play, flag is down. I think Alabama was offsides on that play. I'm glad that guy's not measuring my bank account. Play fake, Clawson rolling right, being chased, heads for the end zone. Did he get in? It's the ball and the flame, and he's out of bounds, and he might have a first down. Jabari Davis back in the lineup, quarterback keeper, Tennessee. Touchdown. And again, they have to go for two. And the second part of that is they're to their backup two-point play because they've already used their number one two-point play and failed. So now they're on their backup two-point play, which you carry a couple different two-point plays, but you usually use your favorite one first. I mean, that was like less than a half a yard. Good push on the inside. Right behind his senior center, Scott Wells, who's making his 43rd consecutive start today for Tennessee. Chuck Crew watching back in Knoxville in the hospital, urging his team on the same way Wesley Britt urging the Alabama Crimson Tide on. Here's the try for two. Deep left side, up, and caught! James Bay! And that was an audible by Casey Clawson on the two-point play. Needs a touchdown and the two. And the cheerleaders for Tennessee need a rest. Reverse, left side, pro throw. Look at Brody Coyle throw a block. How about that? Gray Fulgen breaks off wide to the right. Double tight end set. Donald Clark is to the left. And David Cabin to the right. Williams gets the handoff. Oh my goodness. Lost another yard. That was JT Mafu, number 99, who made that play. Fourth and two. Brody Coyle under his center. Sean Williams directly behind him. Two wide outs. That's Cabin, the tight end. This could be the ball game. The Tennessee holds. It's over. Coyle going for Fulgham in the end zone. Tipped. Tennessee wins. Jason Allen made the defensive play. The Volunteers win at 51-43 for Jill Arrington, Todd Blackledge, I'm Vern Lundquist. We trust you enjoyed it. We'll see you next week.